Well, the carnival calendar is something familiar to so many of us, but what if there is no Endemian Saturday or Bacchus Sunday or even Fat Tuesday in 2021? Just today, we learned that the crew of Nomtok said that it will not parade next year. Dan and Monteverdi has a look at what city leaders are now doing to keep scheduled traditions alive if there are problems later. For many crews, the goal is to roll in 2021. But if COVID concerns cause carnival cancellations, there shouldn't be any calendar chaos in 2022. The City Council and Cantrell administration have rewritten a city ordinance that governs carnival season. Any crew that sits out 2021 will keep its spot the following year. To be clear, this is not canceling Mardi Gras parades. This is simply a common sense protection that crews may choose to avail themselves should it become untenable for their organization to participate. City Hall spokesman Bo Tidwell says the only crews that have announced they won't roll next year are Ocean and Namtok. Those decisions are going to be made by the crews right now. You know, the biggest concern, of course, is, is that, you know, that there's, there's um, some type of uptick in cases or, you know, spike in, in the cases in New Orleans or, or whatever, something that causes them to make, you know, last minute changes. Bobby Hortzberg, captain of the crew of Ferret, says he's hopeful and confident his members will be able to ride and they'll deal with any changes as they come up. That's kind of the nature of this, of, you know, Mardi Gras crew anyways, and, and the way parades are always run is, you know, there's there's always the chance that something's going to happen last minute. While Hortzberg says his crew's roster is still near full force, Councilman Jay Banks of former King Zulu says the modified ordinance is meant to protect crews whose riders might set out next year or whose finances take a hit, preventing them from parading. This whole thing about Mardi Gras being the greatest free show on earth, well, it is free for the people standing on the neutral ground or the sidewalk waving their hand saying, throw me something. But for the people that actually are putting on the parades and providing those throws, it is not free. The hope is COVID won't be an unexpected carnival cost. Danny Monteverdi, Eyewitness News. For the big day itself, mark your calendars. Mardi Gras is February 16th.